hi everyone the cost function for the logistic regression to be calculated for the given data set which is having single feature and actual output capital y which is having sample uh, number 1 and sample number 2 the uh, first sample is having the actual output is yes which is to be encoded as a 1 uh, the second value also yes which is also has to be encoded as a 1 because uh, here it is the categorical value categorical value will not be processed by the uh, processed by the uh, algorithm so the categorical value is encoded as into uh, uh, numerical value so this is the actual output uh, encoded values the for this we have to apply the logistic regression uh and uh, has to be calculated the cost function value here the logistic regression uh, uh, function is sigmoid of z equal to 1 over 1 plus e power g so here the theta 0 is given randomly uh, 1 and theta 1 is the 0.5 the g is here calculated as theta transpose x that means here we are having only single feature x1 so it is uh, having the function theta 0 plus theta 1 into x1 theta 0 and theta 1 values are given here that is added into this equation then feature value x1 at the iteration number 1 g1 is calculated uh, g1 in the sense uh, the function g for the sample number 1 is calculated here uh, substituting the x value which is the 1 now we are getting the 1.5 like that uh, g2 for the sample number 2 we are calculating 1 plus the uh, x1 is the 2 then now we are calculating the value as 2 like that now we are going to apply the sigmoid function over the g1 1 plus 1 over uh, 1 1 by 1 plus e power uh, minus g1 so here g1 value is the 1.5 so when you are applying the uh, values you will get 0.871 in the sigmoid function any value the value which is greater than or equal to 0.5 will be converted into 1 the value which is less than 0 0.5 will be converted into 0 now we have the sigmoid value for the uh, sample number 1 we got 0.871 so 0.871 is greater than or equal to 0.5 which is converted into 1 then the sample number 2 sigmoid value is given here 0.881 which is also greater than or equal to 0.5 now we have uh, uh, transforming into the 1 so here uh, this value uh, actual output is also 1 predicted value also 1 so this is the predicted value y dash okay and uh, the second sample also uh, uh, actual value 1 predicted value also 1 so our classifier now going to calculate the cost function for the logistic regression which is the uh, binomial cross entropy uh, minus 1 over m number of samples summation of i equal to 1 to number of samples y the actual output multiply with log of uh, predicted output plus 1 minus actual output into log of 1 minus predicted output so when you are substituting the values here this is the uh, y uh, y1 dash this is y2 dash so now we are going to substitute the values so this is the um, value for the sample number 1 here we have to call, uh, add the uh, all samples m number of samples so one one is the actual output for the first sample then uh, log 1 is the predicted value for the first sample actual value of the first sample minus predicted value of the first sample log of actual value of the predicted sample minus uh, predicted value of the first uh, se second sample uh, first sample okay so now this is for the second sample so second sample again uh, here we are having the value actual output is also uh, y predicted value also y, uh, 1 y dash so y log y dash 1 minus y y uh, that means y2 okay so log into 1 minus y2 dash so when you are applying the values you will get 
now uh, the finally uh, zero okay so that means cost is zero so in why while cost is zero that means zero percentage error uh, in our algorithm so you look at that for the uh, theta values given theta values uh, theta zero equal to one theta one equal to zero point five we got cost is zero so now so if cost is zero then our accuracy of our model is 100% so no need of a gradient descent here for this algorithm so here finally what we are uh, conclude the classifier is perfectly classified the given a data set which is having two number of samples thanks for watching